Hey everybody, it's Cooking in the Kitchen with Susie Q. I wanted to come on and show you all how I do my Christmas cookies. One um, batch of sugar cookies. And here's the recipe. It's been in the family a long time. My sister-in-law that had a catering business had this recipe. I don't know if she developed it, but it's an old, old recipe. And she gave it to me, and I've been making them for probably 12 years. And I, but I haven't made them in the last six. So I wanted to come in and make them. I'm going to show you all how to mix them up today. We'll put them in the refrigerator overnight. And tomorrow I'll come back and show you how I bake them. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's put the camera down here. And we'll get started. I've got the recipe, and you're going to need two cups of sugar. And I've got my sugar down here. So let's move everything out. And let me get my two cups of sugar. And <coughs> <Keep up. coughs> I've been having trouble with my throat. We buy a lot of sugar. We buy <coughs> 25 pounds of sugar at a time, especially this time of year. Okay, and I keep them in these things, and it says sugar on it. The boys help me sometimes, so let me get me a knife. I forgot to get, I can use this right here. I used to bake cakes and icing, you know, used to make cakes for birthday parties. I made all my grandkids' cakes for their birthday parties. And then I started making cakes for um, the clinic that I worked in. They hired me and I made them. And I'm going to pour it in here and I'm using a paddle. Um, let me show you. It's a paddle like this. Now you don't have to have a fancy mixer. You don't even have to have a mixer. I just happen to have it so I use it because I used to bake a lot, a lot of cookies. A lot more than I'm going to be baking now. Um, I used to bake them and take them to the clinic and we had um, lots and lots of doctors, nurses, authors, and um, so I uh, made them for um, everybody because I couldn't afford to buy gifts for everybody so I always baked a bunch of cookies of each recipe that I did or each thing that I did um, I invented my own uh, recipe uh, for a cookie I call a monster cookie and the reason I call it a monster cookie let me get a rag a wet rag to keep the stuff when we wet it how y'all like my screen my husband made right here. Oh, did you see it? I'll show it to you. So, I like to clean as I go. Let me put this back down in the floor. And I'll put the lid back on it. Um, okay, you're good. like I said, I'll give you these recipes. Like, the, like I said, they, I know they've been in the family at least 45 years because she was making these cookies when I married my husband. And they were the best. My my grandmother made excellent, excellent cookies. She was a Pennsylvania Dutch. And she could bake like nobody's business. But she didn't make the best sugar cookies. I mean, they were good to me. They were fabulous until I tasted these. And then, these are the best I've ever eaten. And so then you're going to need one cup of butter. And what I used is the butter flavor Crisco. Um, so you're going to need one cup of that. And I used this. I got this from Pampered Chef. And it is so, so easy. When I was baking a lot, I needed easy. Well, if this isn't going to come out. I haven't used it in so long, girls. It is pathetic. You just... Take it to one cup. There is one cup. 
Yep, there's one cup, and you just do it like this, and you put your shortening in it. Let me get a spoon. So I'm not all the way prepared today. So let me get a spoon here, and just dig this out of here, and I'll put it in, tamp it down. I hope you can see everything that I'm doing. I just tamp that down, and it's just so much easier to measure with this. Um, we had a two-hour delay on school today because we got our first snow yesterday, and I'd say we got about, oh, probably two inches. How much snow you think we got, hon? Two to three inches. Two to three inches, he said. But it's going to melt off. We're supposed to get back up in the 40s today. And then by next week, we're going to be up in the high 50s. About, I think they said 59. Let me take this off for now. And then I'm going to put that. See how, much, how easy that is. I hope you can see how easy that is. And I may need you to come and check out to see if I if everything I'm doing is in frame, please. And then I'm just going to start uh, creaming my shortening, my butter flavored shortening. Now you can use butter, and it's probably better with butter, because I see that she has butter. Yeah, it says real butter, but I'm using this, and. Anyway, you use one cup of butter. So, oh, it don't have to be on me. I just wanted to make sure that everything was in frame. Let me cream all this together. It just takes a few minutes. Let me get a spatula. Sorry about the noise. Scrape that from the sides. Now, if you don't have this kind of mixer, it's easier if you do. But if you don't, you can always use a hand mixer. It doesn't bother anything. It doesn't hurt anything. So, now that that is um, um, cream, then I'm going to let it down. And I'll show you all. Oh, I'm going to take this. I'm going to show you how it looks. Cream. So there is cream. It just gets the butter and, um, you know, the, yeah, butter and the um, shortening all together. I'm going to put that back in. Oh. And then put this back on. And it is sometimes rough to do so. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to put that back up. Okay, and the next, let me set that out of the way. The next thing we want to put in there is three eggs. So let me get my eggs out of the refrigerator. You don't have to follow me. <laughs> Hi, everybody. No makeup today. A little bit of mascara and some lipstick, and I pinched up my cheeks like they did back in the olden days. Oops. Like they did back in the olden days. Just pinch up them cheeks. So, let me add my three eggs. And I always like to break my eggs with something because you never know. We don't have fresh eggs anymore. But, um, I still don't like to bust my eggs in the... And I usually always have a garbage bowl, but I didn't put any one out. Okay, let me wipe my hands. Now I'm going to put the eggs in and cream them with the butter and the oil. Put one in at a time. Okay. 
Okay, and the next thing you're going to need is a half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of soda and two teaspoons of baking powder. That is, if you don't use self-rising flour. I use self-rising flour, so I omit that. I don't put that in. But I will give you the whole recipe um, according to this. But I have made it without the baking soda, or with that, yeah, the baking soda, um, the baking powder, and the salt. And my sister-in-law uses this kind of, um, this kind, let me see, this kind of um, vanilla. She gets it in uh, Mexico, and um, she got me this, and I've, I've, it's been a long time you can see it um, since she got it. I've had this a while and I don't know if I'll be able to get any more because she's not going back to Mexico. She went with her daughter-in-law which had um, her parents there and they moved away from there. They moved to Ohio back with her. Well actually they lived in Arizona and she um, went to visit them and they'd go to Mexico while they were there. So you want two or one teaspoon. Let's get the teaspoon. These are, these um, spoons look uh, bad, but they're very old. They're very old. I've had them since I've been married. So they're 45 years old. And so we're going to put a teaspoon of the vanilla flavor. And we use white because you want you don't want your cookie to turn out a darker color. So that's one teaspoon of that. And then you need one cup of buttermilk. There is the secret. Let me get my buttermilk. I love buttermilk. Now you cannot taste the buttermilk in the cookies. And I just use whatever's here and on sale. In this case, we use uh, we're using United, United, which is here in West Virginia. I don't know if anybody else gets United, um, but we get it here in West Virginia. Okay, and oh, I better shake it up first. I love buttermilk. Who else out there loves buttermilk? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Don't forget subscribe. We're making friends here. Okay, we need, um, I used to know this thing by heart, but it's been so long since I made it. I quit making cookies, and I quit decorating at Christmas. My husband quit. We just, for a while, didn't have, I mean, we just, we put up a tree for our girls and our grandkids, but we didn't go all out decorating. So we got to get back in the mood to do that. My husband just doesn't want to do it. And um, I respect his feelings. If he's not ready yet, then that's fine. Um, Christmas was our, fa our son's favorite time of the year. He loved Christmas. He loved um, playing Santa Claus. and I mean, he'd actually put on a Santa Claus suit and make his mama sit on his lap um, and say, what do you want for Christmas? So anyway, one cup of butter milk. Put that in. I love the milk. I think I'll get me a little glass and get me some. Yes, and drink it while I'm while I'm cooking. Because I love buttermilk. And it's been so long since I even had that. We found this on sale. It was two for five dollars. Mmm. Let's pour that in. And let's go real slow with our buttermilk. Just mix it in. I'm going to be giving gifts, um, giving these for gifts to friends that that I work with, some people that, that uh, and people that have done, not just because they've done things for me, but my husband gives them to his friends, and then I want to, that's my way of thanking some of the women around here that wrote me letters of, um, you know, that write me letters to um, get a job, even though I haven't got a job yet. 
Um, I feel confident that sooner or later I will. They, I, here you have to have letters of recommendation. And um, I'm wearing this apron too. I wanted to say for all my New York gals, all my gals from New York. One in particular, she knows who she is. I told her that I would wear it for her. But anybody that lives in New York, I'm wearing this for you because it says, I love New York. Now, I've never been to New York. This was given to me by a co-worker years and years ago. I've already got flour on it. Okay, let's get the flour here. And let's measure out our flour. Let me put some lids on some stuff here before I knock it over and spill it. This is like gold to me because I don't know if I'll ever get any more. And I don't know if the cookies would be any good without it. So, we'll see. I no, won't we? Okay, let's move this stuff over. I don't need this anymore. So let's just put that. Okay. Now. We buy 25 pounds of sugar, 25 pounds of flour. Okay. I'm gonna, I got a separate bowl here that I'm gonna be sifting my flour in. I like to sift it because it makes it lighter. You don't have to sift it. This is what I use to sift with. I do for my bread. I'm gonna be making my bread for you too. My um, easy rolls. I got that for my sister-in-law too. So you got to have um, four and a half cups of flour. Maybe five. It just depends. So there's one. Y'all keep the count now and don't let me mess up. <laughs> I already messed up by the time y'all will see this, huh? Two. I'm going to start with four. How many was that? Two. Three. Uh -uh. Okay. Let me sift it. I hope you can see what I'm doing. My husband set the camera up for me, and he he does it protesting. He doesn't like to y'all to hear him. He doesn't like y'all to see him. He's very uh, I want to say insecure. And he is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. That's four. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside, and I'm going to go ahead and start putting my flour in my, I'm going to put this on right here. It's a piece that come with my mixer. I got a really, really, really good deal on this mixer, y'all. Really good deal. I'm getting flour on top of it. I try to keep it clean and take very good care of it. I was at a QVC auction. And, um, well, let me tell you, and then I'll start putting the flour in. I was at a QVC auction, and um, they was, this is one that they used, and I've already gotten butter, or not butter, but Crisco on top. They was, This is one they use on the set of QVC when they're demonstrating. So people buy them uh, at auction houses. They come in our area doing an auction, a benefit auction. And um, me and my husband went to it, and I always did this without this. You know, that's why I know you can use a regular mixer, because that's what I use. And um, anyway, so then I um, seen this, and I had to have it. It's the only one they had. And I bid up to $100 and got this for $100. And you can go on QVC and see how much they are. They may be cheaper now, but they were like 
$2.99, $3.99, something like that. I'm going to start it out on low setting, which is a stir setting. And I'm just going to put it in a little at a time. I keep seeing light. Oh, my husband. My husband's home from the post office. So I'm going to put a little in at a time and just stir it up. And we have four cups here, remember. Y'all don't let me forget. I may have to put the half and I may have to put the... It calls for four and a half, but I just start out with four and see how it goes. Y'all hear a fan running. It is... Uh, we have a wood burner trying to keep our electric bill down. We're still paying last year's electric bill. Winter electric bill. Last winter's electric bill. Because it went so high. Uh, it just got in. And we couldn't pay it all. So we got them to break it up for us. So one month it was $700. So now we're using a wood burner. We found a good deal on a wood burner during the summer. Almost got it. So I'm going to just take and kind of rake this in. I'm going to use my spatula. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Which is, you'll learn your own way of putting your flour in to you where you don't make a mess. And you just put it in and just keep putting it in until it's all gone. And I'll show you the consistency that your dough needs to be. And this is a rollout dough. So with sugar cookies, you're going to be rolling it out. You want to get your cookie cutters, whatever kinds you want to use. I only, I usually just use one kind um, to keep it simple. And it's a big one. I tried to find different kinds. Whoa, 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 whoa. I tried to find different kinds and never could find you know, big ones. I only found one big one. I make them at Valentine's Day, and, and I'll show you then how I make them then. Um, let's put that half cup in. I have a half cup. I've had these for years, too. They're bent up and everything else. I'm teaching my boys to cook. My husband's teaching them to cook. Okay, here is the half a cup. I'm going to sift it. I always like to sift it. And we'll just pour that half a cup in here. I'll rake it in with my spatula and see how that goes. I may have to put another half a cup, but I'll show you how the dough is supposed to look. We'll do move on to other cookies. Okay, we're going to have to put the other half a cup in. Let me stop it and let me get the other half a cup and go ahead. And we may have to put more. Now I will tell you that elevation will uh, change too, uh, change your outcome because. We had to find what temperature that we needed to do my um, cookies in in West Virginia because my sister-in-law has to use a different temperature. Now what, here I have to use 365, but in Ohio she used to, uh, 350. So, and watch them very careful. You do not want these brown on the bottom. You want them to be a little white on the bottom. So, I'll show you when we start baking. And then we ice them and all that. If you'll stick with me long enough, we'll learn how to make cookies. Okay, let's go ahead and go ahead and mix this up. Put it on. Down. 
I used to love to bake cookies. Now I have to motivate myself to do it. And you all have motivated me too by asking me, several of you, to do cooking videos. They want the old country cooking, and I do that. But I don't know how to edit. If somebody knows of a free editing uh, program that would be easy for me to learn because I'm illiterate with uh, computers. Um, and I'm afraid to mess around my computer much and change things because if it messes up, I'm up the creek. If I mess it up, I'm up the creek. So, you know. Okay, I'm going to put another half a cup because it's not quite where I want it. So how many does that make? That makes four and a half, and another half makes five. So let me... And I'm so, if you don't want to watch this clear to the end, then just watch it enough to get the recipe. And that's all you have to do. So, because I, I know some of you don't like long videos, don't have time to watch long videos. So, I'm going to use my fingers. That's what I normally do. Y'all, and I'm not going to do it. I'm not changing. I've changed the math in the last year. I'm not changing anymore. Okay, we're getting there. Yes, it's there. Now, I'll show you how that it needs to look so that you'll know how it looks. We take the paddle off. Take this out bring it around and bring it close so you can see and there's what it needs to look like it needs to be the consistency of a heavy glue like that so I'm going to take the hope you can see take this off of the paddle with my hands they're clean I washed them before I started I always wash my hands before I start anything in the kitchen. I've got a brother-in-law, too, actually, the one died that he used to all the time. He'd tell me, make sure you wash your hands. And I'd tell him, I wash my hands. I'm a very clean cook. I used to be a very clean housekeeper. My kitchen's clean. My bathrooms are clean, but the rest of the house, no, not so much. <laughs> I used to be very meticulous. Okay, and so what I'm going to do, let me wash my hands and get this off of my hands. Get my towel over here. Okay, what I'm going to do, and I'll do it right here in front of the camera. If you can see, I hope you can. I'm going to use this empty bowl and use this bowl because I might, well... Let me use this instead. I'm going to put this dough. Oh, it's heavy. Hun, can you come around and just hold it up for me? Here's the handle on this side. Okay. Woo, it's good to have a strong, handsome man. <laughs> I've been trying to convince him to cook with me because he is a very, very good cook. The kids, he makes meatballs at Christmas time, usually every Christmas. But this year we're having Mexican food, and I'll probably do most of the cooking. But he makes a zesty Italian meatball. He's got a recipe that we got from my sister-in-law years and years ago that he makes... Um, every Christmas, and the kids fight over them to take what's left home. His stuffing in at Thanksgiving time, they fight over it. He makes those. Okay, and so you put it in a bowl, and you take aluminum foil, 
plastic wrap. If you got a plastic bowl big enough to put it in. Now this is one batch and I can't remember how many cookies. Let me look and see how many cookies that that will make. Because I think I wrote it on the recipe. Um, No, it doesn't say how many cookies it makes. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't say how many cookies it'll make. But I know it'll make a few dozen. I usually tripled my batch. I done um, two triple batches or more because I needed more. But this time I just made the single batch for you all. And I'll be making more later on. I mean, I'll be making more to up to today and putting in the refrigerator. But I just wanted to do a single batch, put it in the refrigerator overnight. Because it has to be super, super cold. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. Up in here. And I'm going to bid you all farewell. So I want to tell you all that let me get this up here where you can see me get my camera up here where you can see me um one reason i didn't wear makeup too today is because i derma rolled my face last night and um that's not even close enough for y'all to even see my face <laughs> i'm not ashamed of how i look i think i look dang good for 60 years old Mother Nature's going to have a time catching up with me. There's outside. Y'all can see my snow. There's my little background. Now, hopefully, you can see my face. Okay. Yeah, you can see it a little. <laughs> but anyway, I want to, I'm going to do several recipes. Terry, I got a recipe for you that you can do for you and little sis. Um one evening that if you don't have a lot of time it takes maybe 10 minutes to, re to prepare and I'm going to be making that dish and showing you that all you have to do is put a salad with it and bam you got a meal um, and maybe some french bread if you want maybe um, whatever you don't even have to eat bread with it but a salad and that would be a very good meal so I'm going to do that for you Sherry and you and little sis maybe want to do it for yourself and maybe video it and let me see how you make it. Put your own little twist on it. Um, because you said you make up recipes yourself. You said you can't cook, but if you make up recipes and you like them, you can cook. Um, also, I want to um, tell everybody that I love them. Hope you have a very Merry Christmas. And thank you for your prayers. Thank you for all the... The comments you leave me, thank you for all the nice things that you do for me, that you've said to me, the encouragement, and don't forget to subscribe, we're making friends here, leave me a comment. Um, I think someone says, Grandma Cheap Cheap says, rate, comment, and subscribe. So rate, comment, and subscribe, and throw that thumb up in the air. Share me around, because I want to travel, and you're the only way I'm going to get to. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Bye. Love ya.